welcome back to my channel for today i have this look for you guys um it's actually one of my older looks that i deleted uh on my channel i still had my hair so i still have my hair i still have hair but uh, i was not wearing a headscarf so uh, i deleted it but i actually am so obsessed with this look i really love a brown smoky eye a winged liner and a red lip like red lip is just it for me but first of all i want to say just a big Thank you for the sweet comments and the sweet messages that I've been getting from you guys about my uh, last video or my last video, my converting video or my conversion story video. I really want to thank you guys so much. I got so many sweet messages that you guys started to cry and got really emotional. And um, yeah, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting these comments and replies and the messages are just heartwarming also just a lot of messages that this video helped you guys a lot and motivated you guys a lot and that means so much to me so i quickly wanted to say that thank you guys so much thank you so much and if you guys want to see how i created this look here then keep on watching So I'm going to be starting off with putting on this mask. Lately I really have been loving this way of doing my makeup because uh, when I apply a clay mask before doing my makeup, uh, maybe some people would say it's not good but for me it really works because my pores do not appear and my pores have been getting bigger. Don't know what to do about that but by doing this step you can barely or not see my pores through my makeup. So that's why I have been doing that. And this is the Moroccan Gasso uh, clay mask from Amira. And I'm just gonna be applying that on my T-zone. I'm also going to be doing a giveaway on my Instagram. I will be giving away one of these clay masks. So I did my brows with the Anastasia Brow Wiz, still my favorite, well, there are some new favorites, like the Morphe uh, brow pencils. They are cheaper and are as good, actually. Also, the Balm has some really nice brow pencils. Also really thin. So now I'm just applying some concealer as a base for my eyeshadow. Wow, I feel so good knowing that I just uh, passed for my exams. That we finished our exams right now and... Well, in three months, we will have our last exams from this year. And then Friday, I will fly away to Morocco, inshallah. Oh my God, I'm too excited. Like, too excited. I'm going with my sister and I will be vlogging everything. So make sure to turn on the notification bell. So that you will be updated for when I post those videos. I'm going to try to vlog as much as I can. I really love vlogging now because I'm looking back at my old vlogs that I now have turned on private because I was not wearing the headscarf. But it is just really fun to look back at those vlogs. I would have uh, forgotten about some moments that I can now still look back at. So I really love making vlogs and making memories to look back at. So I'm gonna be trying to vlog as much as I can. I am going to go in with the Soft Glam palette from Anastasia, one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. So starting off with Orange Soda, this color here, and with this Morphe M504, I'm going to blend this in my crease as a transition shadow. So now that I have this transition shadow, my eyeshadow cannot crease anymore because I've now set it. My, I mean my concealer cannot crease anymore. I used to set the concealer, but when you do that, um, the eyeshadows will be less pigmented and less vibrant. So that's why I never set the concealer. I go right in with eyeshadow. Now I'm going into the color Rustic, this color here. And um, I'm going to go in with my favorite blending brush. Can you guys guess it? If you can guess it, put it in the comments down below. Then you have been following me for real. Because I use this in every makeup tutorial. It's the M506 from Morphe. And with this, I'm going to start packing it on into my crease. So I have a question for you guys. Do you like makeup tutorials with like music in the background? So like really soft playing? Or do you find that really annoying? Or should I just not... Put it in my videos so now with that same brush and with the excess product i'm going to blend out this edge really careful 
because I don't want to go all the way, yeah, like I just told you, not go too high up. And now I'm picking up more of that same color and I'm going to pack it on onto my lids. And now I'm going in, where is it? To this palette here, the Mitchell, yeah, the MMMM Mitchell palette from B Cosmetics, the Zero Highlighting palette in the color Made It with this Sigma E04 brush. I am going to highlight my brow bone. So this is the first time I'm trying out this palette. I'm also going to use it for my face. But I'm really excited. This is really, really blinding. Really glowing. I'm going to create a winged liner with the NYX um, Epic Ink Liner. Okay, wing is on. And now I'm going to apply these lashes from the makeup bar. Uh, I've never tried their lashes. They are cruelty free and um, I'm going to put them on right now. They look so beautiful. Oh my god. I forgot to mention. I was like out of nowhere. I was in my mind that this was a, a voiceover video. So I didn't talk for this second but I applied the liquid gold argan oil. I'm going to apply the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation, one of my favorite foundations. I just noticed, this is so weird, oh, I just noticed that I had my ring light off the whole time of this video. Normally it's like this, but now I'm like, yeah, half of the video I've already filmed without it, so mm, yeah. It's weird. I never forget that. That's really weird. So I'm gonna just continue without my ring light. I, I'm actually happy with it. But I was in the beginning like, so weird. It's so much darker. Well, this ring light is right in front of me. How, I don't know, this, oh my God. I slept really well tonight. I feel awesome. So I don't know why these things are happening right now, but. I'm going to apply the foundation. Oh yes, I miss this foundation. This is really one of my favorite foundations and it is only five euros in Germany in the DM. Do you see how beautiful that covers? Wow. I'm going to apply this Jouer uh, concealer, which is really nice. It covers so good and I really feel like it could cover uh, tattoos. It is so good. So girls are always asking me like, what do you do for your dark circles? Because you can see I have pretty dark circles. And um, it's just in my jeans. I mean like, I, I it doesn't matter if I sleep well or if I'm healthy or if I'm not healthy and not sleep well. It is just always there, unfortunately. If you guys have tips, and not like put tomatoes um, or potatoes or tea bags, coffee, all of that. That doesn't work. That really, yeah, for me, it doesn't work. I tried, been there, tried, it's, it's not working. But if you have other tips, like fillers, I'm not going to do that. I don't think there's anything else to do. But um, yeah, they asked me like, how do I cover that? It's just applying concealer, but I guess it's just applying a good concealer. Look how nice and bright it is underneath my eyes. Oh, yes. And going all the way till here with your concealer gives you, your face a lift. Like, like this. So I always like to go all the way till here. So Morphe just came out with new uh, bake and set setting powders. And I'm going to try it out now for the first time. So I'm going to be going in with the Morphe Y11. These kind of brushes I really like to just set underneath my eyes and just set my face. These kind of brushes help 
uh, to really press in the product into the skin. It's really thin, so that's actually really nice because you will not have that really thick caked look. This is just a really thin powder. I'm gonna need some color in my face. I'm going to bronze up my face with the Hula Hula the Hula bronzer. But with this one, I do have to be careful because I really I'm not a fan from the really dark contour and bronzing. I like just some color in my face, but I don't like the like this strong contour so when i used to do clients and they would ask me that i was like in my head like i don't like that you should not i will tell them like it's more natural and if you would like look back at your pictures when you're older because this is a trend right now but um if you're older then you will probably think like what is that line on my face um or maybe not maybe the line is getting stronger in the future i'm not sure but um, it's for me hard to do uh, makeup on clients that I really don't like and they keep telling me apply more, apply more and I'm like girl that's not going to look cute that's going to look not yeah just not cute so that was kind of hard for me when I worked with clients and I'm actually thinking of taking clients again but I'm going to think a little bit more about that because it used to be so stressful for me, the rush, the everything around it. It's just not always so nice. I'm going to use this Ofra palette, this blush palette, and um, I'm going into this color here for blush using that same brush. This is the Jaclyn Hill G J G G H05. So I'm gonna be uh, trying out this new palette, or new, I don't know if it's actually new, but I re just received it from B Cosmetics and in collaboration with Mitchell. And I really wanna do a look recreating. I mean, like, I wanna recreate one of his looks because they are like, I am totally in love with his makeup style. It's just so different and so creative, so pigmented, these colors that he, will combine together are just, I would never think of. So I wanna do one of his looks and recreate them, try if I can even achieve something, looking something like it from him, cause he's like so talented. So, but I'm really excited to try it out. Anyways, so this palette, I will do a mixture of these two colors here. Yeah, so made it and lifestyle. Seriously guys, I need my ring lights. I need it. I'm just going to keep it on right now. We have two different lightnings, but now you can see what a good lightning does. Like, look at that. Okay, you already have seen it. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh my god. Okay, so now I'm going to highlight my face. Oh wow. Wow. It's a really creamy highlighter, so you can really build it up into a really really bright <clears throat> bright highlighter am i going to do that yes i am gonna do that oh wow and of course my inner corner Oh, look at that. I'm gonna be spraying this rose water spray from Amira. I'm going to cover my eyeshadow. I'm going to uh, apply some brow gel from Anastasia. I totally forgot I had this. But it's actually really nice. And even if you have not applied anything to your brow and you're just like in a rush and you wanna have something in your brow, then these are really nice. They these are tinted brow gels. So we'll just give your brow some color. Now I'm going to blend um, Rustic, so that same color as I used for the lid. I'm going to blend that <coughs> underneath my eyes. Applying some mascara on my bottom lashes. And now to the lips, I'm going to apply NARS products for my lips. Uh, this lip liner in the color Holy Red. And in this liquid lipstick, or what is this? Lip, lip pigment. 
um, enlight my fire. Oh, really nice color. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. You guys asked for more makeup tutorials, so I will be making those a lot more. Um, yeah, I don't want to promise anymore because I know that because of my study, I cannot uh, keep my promises, but I'm actually in my head planning on doing one vlog a week and one makeup tutorial. Make sure to go to my Instagram tomorrow because I will post the video from this tutorial i will post it onto my instagram and then i will have there the giveaway for the mask so yeah i really want to thank you guys for watching again for supporting me make sure to turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss out on all the videos that are coming right now i have so many cool plans like so many cool plans for for this channel i'm super motivated again so if you want to see that turn on the notification bell I really want to thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!